Glenn Hawk, thank you for taking some time to talk to us today about some of the trends you're seeing in NAND technology and also some news about products coming out of Micron in that regard. Uh, but first, I wanted to mention the last time we spoke with you, you were the vice president of our Embedded Solutions Group. You are now the vice president of our NAND Solutions Group, so congratulations on that new thank role. Thank you. Thank you. It's very exciting to be in NAND today. Well, let's talk about the appetite for NAND. We've certainly seen dramatic growth. Over the past several years, it's in all of the hottest products on the retail market today. Um, from your perspective, what's the importance of NAND, and then what challenges are you facing as a manufacturer of NAND? Yeah, that, you know, it's funny that you used the word hottest because I was on a flight just a couple days ago in New York, and uh, the person I was sit sitting next to, you know, we were talking about what do you do, what do I do. I said I w worked in NAND Flash, and um, the, the person had a funny response. They said, "Oh, that's a, a hot field," and I. Um, it took me back for a second because you know I've been involved in in flash memory for decades, and it it, it made me think that you know we, without really thinking about it on a day to day basis, what we've been doing for the last couple decades is we've been basically doubling the number of bits or cutting the cost of our product in half by about two x by about every eighteen months, and we don't really think about what this does. And uh, it, it got me to think about some of the tipping points that this has created for consumer electronics products that are out there. And I think most people can remember that there was a point in time where, for digital photography, there was a big tipping point where people went from the, the film in your yes. camera and getting it developed and all that back to the point where you had a compact flash card and you could store it digitally. And that tipping point was created by one of those instances where we cut the cost of the, the bits um, by 2x. And uh, all of a sudden, something became affordable and enabled the rest of the industry. And I was thinking that, you know, since then, there have been many other tipping points. I think people can also remember the point at which music players suddenly became digital. I think people remember when um, products were like what we're seeing today with um, tablet computing. Um, the MacBook Air is a great example of a flash-enabled product. It wouldn't be possible if we hadn't reached one of those tipping points. And I think that there are some that we're just entering right now. Like, for example, uh, a few years ago I read an interesting article in Wired Magazines where they talked about how um, for the, the search engine companies, um, the top five at the time, um, uh, the, the amount of power that their, their servers required um, was uh, on any given day more than the, the amount of power that the city of Las Vegas consumed on the hottest day of the summer. And uh, our, one of our products um, that we currently make, our real SSD um, product, our P300, um, it, in some instances it can displace 12 um, hard drives. And there's obviously a power savings from that. And so, you know, what, what, what we're really doing here with each of these tipping points is we're really changing the world. And I, I think that's what's created the, the, this appetite for NAND. That's why it's so, so exciting. Um, that, that's really what, what, what's, what's, uh, what's creating the, 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 the demand for NAND. But the problem that we're having is that it's getting tougher and tougher <laughs> to, to double the, the bits or cut the cost in half. And we're running into a lot of problems. And you have sort of created a solution for those problems, at, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, in ClearNAND. That's correct. Tell me what ClearNAND is and how you hope it will extend the life of NAND. Yeah, you know, to go back to the, the real SSD example, um, one of the things that Micron um, has done is we're obviously one of the world's experts at the NAND silicon technology, you know, moving the electrons around to store the ones and the zeros. But over the last few years, we've also developed some downstream capabilities that enable us to create complete system level solutions, like our solid state drives. Well, in the course of creating those products, we've had to learn about a lot of things outside the silicon. We had to learn a lot more about the error correction capability, the signal processing, all the things required to deliver that end solution. What's exciting is that now that that knowledge, those capabilities, those core competencies, we can apply elsewhere to our product portfolio, and ClearNAND is one of the first instantiations of that, that core competency. We have uh, created a controller, which we put inside of the packages that we also uh, include the NAND flash in, and it enables a customer to use our product without having to worry about managing the errors and the error correction algorithms and these sorts of things. It makes our product very easy to use. We're pretty excited about that um, because it's going to enable a lot of capabilities. For example, our 25 nanometer NAND flash, which is in production today with the clear NAND capability, can be used in enterprise uh, server applications. And that's something that 25 nanometer NAND alone can't do without clear NAND. So do you anticipate that ClearNAND will be everywhere? 
Um, I think it will be very popular, but it certainly won't be the only way that we sh ship our NAND product. Uh, we will still deliver raw NAND silicon to the industry. Now, of course, people that use that are going to have to be a lot more sophisticated. If they choose not to use our clear NAND capability, they're going to have to make other provisions to uh, have the NAND perform the way that they would like it to. Um, but the, the, again, the, the building blocks that we've created with ClearNAND, it, it can be applied to the ClearNAND solution, but we can also use that to selectively work with third-party um, uh, suppliers of controllers, for example, um, so that our customers ultimately can make the products that they want. Well, we've talked about the past and the present. Yeah. Get out your crystal ball. Yes. What do you see for the future of NAND? For Micron, the future of NAND is clear. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, <laughs> um, but, uh, but seriously, we do think that this is the beginning of a new direction for NAND technology where um, Micron will be able to sort of buffer end users from the, the incredible complexity that we're facing to continue to scale NAND. I mean, we are all about continuing to deliver those cost reductions every 18 months just like we've done in the past. Um, we're, we're doing all that we can within the NAND silicon itself because we're the world's experts at that. But in addition to that, we're also adding a, a lot of uh, system level solution capability that's going to make it a lot easier to make a lot more of these cool products to create more of these tipping points. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for getting us up to speed on what's happening in the future, and we look forward to talking to you again about the broader NAND initiative for Micron. Thank you very much, Allison.